In this module, we'll be discussing ankle x-rays. This will include your AP lateral and mortis views. For the AP ankle, the patient will be sitting on the table. You can have them lying down if that is easier for them. The camera tube is 40 inches tabletop and you'll have the patient extend their ankle onto a cassette that's on the tabletop. You'll have them point their toes upwards and then slightly inwards, not much, just a little bit to make sure that their lateral bone is kind of uh, centered well with the ankle examination. The foot is flexed. What happens if they don't flex their, their foot toward the ceiling, their heel will actually impede visualization of the ankle. So if at all possible, have them flex their foot about 90 degrees. You see this virtual yellow ruler here that will remind you to angle that foot 90 degrees. And then at that point, you're gonna to wanna to have the ankle centered to the cassette. So the, the, in order to identify the center of the ankle, you see this protuberance right here? That's the lateral malleolus. There's one on the other side, it's the medial malleolus. But all you need to remember is that it's just the bony protrusions that are uh, on the sides of your ankle. If you palpate those two, you just simply angle and sh uh, or you simply point your camera down and shoot right between those two points. Your crosshairs are to the, the ankle joint and you can see this between the malleoli of the lower leg. So your ankle, your foot is hyperflexed and you've got that straight down projection right into the ankle itself. You'll want to make sure that you do include a portion of the lower leg so to make sure that you have uh, your entire ankle on here. Sometimes you've got fractures that will occur. I know we're looking at this ankle joint, but we, when someone fractures their ankle, they may have a fracture somewhere up in here. So we wanna open it up a little bit so that you're including the lower part of the leg. A good technique for this is three mass at 62 kbp. Here's an evaluation of the ankle joint. See how we see the distal part of the leg here? The malleolus, uh, the malleoli, it's malleolus singular, malleoli is plural, but you can see that these portions are off to the side of the ankle uh, it, and they comprise uh, part of the ankle. This is between the tibia and the talus of the foot, this open plateau in here. So you wanna to try to see if you can fit and, uh, fit and see inside that ankle part there. And this is a good visualization of that. This area here is the heel, as I had told you, it's been flexed and you can see the toe, it kind of, the, the toes as they kind of superimpose over the entire foot. So the, the foot itself in this type of exam ends up looking more like a blob than anything. You're primarily concerned for the the, the furthest most part of the leg and this joint space in here, make sure you get the talus as well. We mark this well with the right marker in this case. For the lateral ankle, we're again dealing with the malleolus of the distal leg. Our tube is 40 inches tabletop. You have the patient lying down. You've got a cassette there on the top of the table. The, you want to make sure that the patient's other leg is completely out of the way. Sometimes it can be a little challenging to get this picture if they've got kind of stiff legs or they're not able to move very much or they're having a lot of pain. But you've got to do your best to get that other leg, that other foot, out of the way completely so that you can position this extremity appropriately. The foot is completely sideways, which means it's per, uh, parallel to the table. And you can eyeball this uh, both as it's sideways and as it is parallel. You'll want to center your crosshairs to what we've been discussing, the malleolus. In this case, it's the malleolus of the tibia. It's the inside malleolus. And your, uh, uh, you have no angle on your tube. It's, it's straight down onto the ankle. Make sure that your foot is centered to the cassette and you're getting a portion of the lower leg with the ankle as well. And you will be getting a portion of the foot also. That's perfectly fine. A good baseline technique is three mass at 62 kbp. Here's the evaluation as discussed. 
We've got the calcaneus or the heel here. This is beautiful. You've got part of the foot. We've got at least a portion of the lower leg so we can evaluate this joint uh, perfectly. We've got the inner space here, the joint inner space. And the reason it looks a little gray is you've got the, the fibula creeping down in here. That's again the malleolus that's gone down into the foot. But uh, you can see the sinus here uh, in, that you can see completely through the foot. So this indicates we've got a pretty decent lateral in this case. It's marked right, which I'm very happy to see. For the mortise view, you know, the, there are certain angles uh, or anatomy within the, the ankle itself that are very difficult to see unless you kind of twist the foot and get it out of the way. Uh, it's in, specifically, we're trying to visualize the, uh, the distal portion of the fibula as it interfaces with the foot. And we're just kind of trying to throw it off to the side. And in order to do that, we have to have the patient lie on their back or, or they can sit up if need be. And they'll start with their toes facing the ceiling. They'll put their, their foot onto this cassette and then rotate their foot inward 15 degrees. That way you've got a little bit of a, um, an edge to where you can fit inside that joint space. Some patients it's gonna be a little challenging because they may have a, a sprained foot or an injury or something to that nature. But you're gonna to wanna to see if you can not only rotate them inward 15 degrees, but ask them to once they've done, they've done that, roll their foot inward. Yes, I, I said it. You're going to have to ask them to roll their foot. A lot of patients won't be able to do that. But, but to get a beautiful film of the mortise, you'll want to see if they, you angle their foot and then roll their foot inward. You want to open your collimator wider because now your anatomy is getting spread out a little bit. And uh, you want to make sure you include all the anatomy. This includes the distal leg, a portion of the foot, and of course the ankle. You'll use approximately three mass at 65 kbp. Now here is the difference between an AP and a mortise. I know we rotated the patient 15 degrees. You may not be able to identify some of the minor nuances, but let me kind of help you out a little bit. On the left hand side is your AP view. We're going to outline the uh, tibia right here. You see how the tibia creeps into the fibula just like that? So that, that will show you kind of the angle that we're at right now. But when we rotate the foot, now this area is just a small hump that overlaps the fibula. So that's telling you you've been rotated a little bit. Now look at this joint, area, joint space here. You've got a wide gap on, uh, on the inside of the ankle. But when you rotate, now that gap kind of closes in. But on the flip side, look at this. Do we have a joint space here? You can, it only comes up to the talus and then it kind of obliterates and, and overlaps in the center here. Now with this mortise, we've, we've opened up this joint space right in here. You see that? So it's very helpful for the radiologist to, to, to visualize this so that they can determine if there's any abnormalities in the joint spaces. That concludes our evaluation of the ankle.